Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. This is where I share about birth, faith, and family. So I, for those of you coming to my channel for the first time, I am a childbirth doula and I am expecting my second baby. So I am taking you along for the journey as to what that looks like uh, week by week. I am in week 20 now. So today I'll be sharing just a little bit about that as well as a couple more videos coming out this week. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and don't forget, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time I put out a new video. Thanks so much. All right, we're gonna dive right in. So today I wanna share with you three things, just three things um, about what 20 weeks looks like. So uh, at 20 weeks, baby is about 10 ounces and is about 10 um, inches long. Now, this is about the size of a banana, if you wanna think about it in terms of things that you can picture. Um, so baby is about the size of a banana and um, at this point, actually, doctors start measuring baby from head to toe. Prior to this, they've been measuring baby from crown of the head to their rump, to their bottom, because they've been mostly curled up. But at this point, they start measuring them from head to toe. So baby is 10 inches, about 10 inches long and about 10 ounces, um, about the size of a banana. So if you want a point of reference and uh, your uh, uterus is right about at your belly button at this point. So you'll see that your um, care provider will measure your uterus, how far it's growing. It'll be right about at the belly button line at this point. Uh, another great thing about this time is that you may have started feeling some kicking. This Around this time, you start feeling the baby kick and turn and do flips and um, um, move her little arms and punch and all those fun, fun things. You've probably started to feel those at this point. So it's a very, very exciting time. I've started feeling my little one kick and it's absolutely amazing. Also, another great thing about this uh, week is that normally at this time, uh, care providers like to do a detailed anatomy scan uh, via ultrasound of the baby. This is where they check a lot of the things like the baby's uh, heart chambers, uh, they check the baby's stomach, um, the brain, blood flow, and uh, they measure like all their bones, check their you know, check their hands, their feet, their their arms, their legs, everything, everything. It's a, it's a long ultrasound. Um, for me, it took three trips to the bathroom to get through it. So um, yeah, that was lots of fun. It was long, but very enjoyable to just see baby and hear her heartbeat. And so I hope that you all enjoy your um, ultrasound if you choose uh, to have one. It is optional, um, I do believe, um, unless you're considered high risk. So uh, most of, I will say most of the uh, exams during, that you have offered to you during prenatal care are optional. I think most people don't know that and so that's why I share that. Um, but yes, most are optional. Um, that being uh, one of them for at least most of the midwives um, most midwife practices and, and OBs unless there is high risk um, or you know a specific reason that your care provider wants to make sure that they do that on you but I um, this is also sometimes where they do the 4d scan and you can see the baby moving and things like that so that's something to look forward to at 20 weeks with that I want to leave you and I hope you have a great rest of your night. I'll be checking in throughout the week. Um, I'll make sure to, um, this dress is a little bit hard to show you the baby bump. So I will, because of the patterns and everything. So I will be sure to show you baby bump in the next video. Until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this with a friend and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.